Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we fought against the next boss fight and then I took a break for a couple of months and now we're back. I'm ready to get hot back into this. In the time that I've been gone, a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, first of all, the episode Igis DLC dropped and I haven't played through that yet, but it seems like it's really cool. I, of course, I already know the plot of the original version of episode, I guess, but I'm excited to see uh, what changes there are. I bought the like expansion pass that you need to actually, you know, be able to play episode, I guess. And with that came a bunch of other things, such as we go into Makoto's thing here, go to outfit. Um, where is it? Not here. Where is it? All right, I guess I don't have it yet for whatever reason. Maybe when we inevitably go back to Tartarus, it'll go ahead and uh, add that stuff in. But basically, we got a few costumes and we got some cool new background music. Anyways, from what I remember, which is very little, I don't think there's anything we really need to do at the moment other than just, you know, do social links and have fun. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to talk to these guys because again, took like two months off of this game. But I think that break was kind of necessary. I was getting really burnt out on the game because you go for 50 episodes and you're not even halfway done. You get kind of, my brain just gets kind of bored and stuff like that. So how's it going, Junpei? Okay, let's see if I could remember how to do these voices. <clears throat> Dude, our missions are always so exhausting. But last night was, was even worse because we ran into those Strega guys and they look like a pretty annoying bunch. Man, I wish they'd just piss off. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's something else we did last episode. We ran into Strega. We'd seen them before in cutscenes, uh, but this is the first time that the actual characters got to meet Strega. Everyone seems so exhausted. We don't have the whole group here anyway, so let's skip going to Tartarus tonight. That's fair enough. I was probably going to put that off until right before the time limit anyway, so no biggie. So if the Dark Hour disappears, then our personas will disappear too. That's basically what the Strega guys were saying, right? There are four shadows remaining. Let us do our best next time, too. However, the members of Strega also appear to be our enemies. Let us remain vigilant and continue taking shadows down. Let's kick their asses. That does feel like something I guess would say. So, um... <sighs> I'm really... I'm really bad at doing voices for young kids. Like, I could do older people just fine, you know, I could do, you know, people in their 20s and stuff like that, or, like, even people in their teens. Um, you know, I could do old people voices, stuff like that. But I am always so bad at doing voices for, like, elementary school kids and stuff like that in these games. I saw something on TV about people with apathy syndrome. Apparently everyone was cured all at the same time. That's a little strange, isn't it? I mean, there's no way ev everyone can recover at the exact same time. So how? That's a good question. Anyways, uh, from what I remember, we're still on our summer break. I don't think we resume school until September. So we're just kind of looking at stuff and seeing what we can do without school because in Persona 3, if it's the social link of someone who you see at school, you can only do that social link while you're at school. So that means we have a lot of people that we don't have access to their social links at the moment. Sue Mitsu is the only one who we can level up at the moment, and I don't really want to talk to him, but he's our only person left, so I'm gonna do it anyway. I probably made a joke about that at some point in the previous episode. Do I even have a moon persona on me at the moment? Yes, I do, actually, so I don't even need to go into the velvet room or anything. I can just be like, hey, how's it going? Well, if, is it, well, if it isn't Makoto-kun, perfect timing. Do you want to get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach screaming for attention. That's my best impression of his voice. I don't really have a good voice for him. Like, I could give him Salmonella's voice from Ace Attorney to, like, the, like, really heavy lisp and stuff like that, but that doesn't sound like his voice actor at all, so... I'll spend time with you. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. What are you in the mood for today? Rice? Sandwiches? Or maybe noodles? I know just the place. Hurry, I'm dying from hunger here! Well, look who it is. I knew you sounded familiar. I'd recognize that shrill grating voice anywhere. I mean, who wouldn't? I don't have all the free time in the world like you high school kids, so let's try to keep this short. My son gave you money that was supposed to pay for his cram school. I'd appreciate it if you'd give it back. Let's just be done with this. I won't bother you again if you return the money now. Are we good? Um, 
Look, sir, I don't think you have the full picture here. Your son said he hates cram school. That's why he was hiding in the park by himself. I was doing him a favor. If anything, you should be thanking me. Right? Uh, sure, that's right. I think this is the best option. See? Yeah. You think so, too? Well, what's this? Someone sure is bold today. You sure you're not gonna start screaming emergency and run away? My, my, you really don't have a clue, do you? No wonder you don't understand how your son feels. Besides, haven't you heard? He's my bodyguard now. So Imitsu seems to trust me with all his heart. Halfway there. Look, I should be the one forgiving you. And even if I did, there's no way you're getting into paradise. People like my dead brother, non-believers like you, you're not welcome there. <sighs> Talking to you gives me a headache. You know my son, right? He's still in elementary school, and yet he has a better head on his shoulders than you do. Your parents have my sympathy. I'd be ashamed if my son were as neck deep in this cult as you are. What? What did you just say to me? So that's how it is, huh? You're just like the rest of them. You think I should have died instead, don't you? You don't think I'll ever hold a candle to my twin brother, do you? Knock it off. Damn kid. God, this has been such a waste of time. Fine. If that's how you want to play, then just you wait and see. Better watch yourself, kid. Hang around this guy for too long. And he'll scam you, too. I tell my son the same thing. Choose your friends carefully. Now excuse me. Come back when you've learned a little respect. Uh, actually, don't come back. Ever! We won! We fought that guy off! As long as you're here, I've got nothing to fear. All right! I was dying of hunger, wasn't I? Come on! After eating with Suemitsu, I went back to the dorm. So I forget if this has already been made clear or not um, in the previous Social Link episodes because it's been a while, but... Oh, yeah, Suemitsu is knee-deep in a cult, and he's also extremely, you know... I guess he sort of has an inferiority complex uh, to his brother. But yeah, so he does have a bit of backstory as to why he sucks. He still sucks, but, you know, there is a reason, I guess, so... Oh, hello! Great conversation. Yukari, have I finished your thing up yet? Because if not, then I can work on academics, because that's the only stat that I don't... have. Yeah, look at how bad that, like... Comparison is Courage 6, Charm 6, Academics 3. Alright, I'm gonna fix that up sometime real soon. I mean, I don't technically need high academics for anything that I'm going for until, like, November, I think. But you know what, it's still a good thing to level up, so... Hmm. Yukari, you doing anything? I'm thinking about putting some food together. If you got some time on your hands, you want to cook with me? Uh, no, she won't gain anything. Maybe another time. Um. Alright, I'll be here if you change your mind. I always, like... I don't know why, I guess it's because I always, like, grow, like, really attached to fictional characters and stuff like that. But I always have a real, really hard time telling people no in video games. Whenever there's like, an NPC in a video game that asks you, so asks you something and if you say no, they get all sad and stuff like that. I always have a real, really hard time saying no and I end up doing stuff, doing things that I don't really want to do. I don't know why, I know that's really weird, but... You know what, I'll think about Persona Fusing when I actually, you know, have to do it for a social link that I want to do, and isn't it nighttime? Because I'm pretty sure I could do these nighttime stuff at any, these nighttime social links at any point in the game. In fact, there is a bit of trivia that I'll get to at the end of the game. Uh, if you do Tanaka's, if you start up Tanaka's social link on like the final day of the game, but I'll get to that when I get to that. For now, gosh, what's the fastest way to boost up academics? Is it you that does academics? No, that's charm. Is it you? Yes, okay. Gonna go for the bigger one, and then we'll see if we can level up right here. That'd be a good way to start off my return to this game, is to immediately level up a social stat. 
Every bite fills my mouth with flavor and my brain with omega-3s. Come on. Ah. Well, better luck next time. Hi. How are you doing? I remembered a little more. The end won't be brought about by any one person in particular. It's going to happen because there are many who wish for it. Almost as if it was decided from the beginning. But isn't it strange that there are those who would wish to bring about the end? I don't know if I could say no one wants that in good faith. And I don't, and I don't want to say who cares, because I kind of care if the world's ending. Um, and I guess I could definitely see some people being like, I want the world to end. Hmm, I see. Well... I guess if you're unhappy, you'd want it to be over quickly, huh? Otherwise, you might end up consumed by hatred for everything in this world. Well, enough of that for now. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you today. Soon, the flowers of poison will bloom. Three in the rival garden, and one in your own. I don't know if this has anything to do with the end, but you should be careful. <laughs> but I don't grow flowers. Uh, thanks for the warning. I'm happy to hear you say that. I'll let you know if I find out anything else. That's what friends are for, right? Pharos gives me a carefree smile. I sense a bond between Pharos and me. Rank 5. Halfway through this guy, too. Good night. This is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. As always, we're not going to do that until a little bit later because I want to wait until everyone who's going to get lost in Tartarus gets lost, and then we can go ahead and do a bunch of stuff in a day. It's me. I'm sorry to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Uh, just a minute. That's okay, just listen through the door. There's something I need to tell everyone, so let's all meet in the command room tonight. That's all I wanted to say. I'll see you then. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the roof by now should be harvest. So recently, the game, another game by At Atlas called Metaphor Refantasio, or something like that, I think that's how it's pronounced? I'll correct myself in post if I'm wrong. But anyway, that came out, and it looked really cool from what I saw, and a lot of people are, sh people are saying it's really, really good. I've, been, I've even seen some people say it's better than any of the Persona games, which is a very bold statement, um, but I guess I'll have to make that judgment myself whenever I get around to playing the game. I haven't even gotten around to playing the demo yet, so that's something I'll have to do sometime soon. Oh hey, Maiko is actually available for today, and I can actually level her up, so I think we'll definitely hang out with her today. Because we could hang out with Suemitsu, but yeah, Maiko's a bit more bearable, to say the least. I feel like I'm being too mean to Suemitsu, but he does kind of suck. Let's see how far along we are with rank 6. Dang. So technically, technically speaking, it would be more strategic to go with Suemitsu's, but it's by only one rank. Plus, I'm sure at some point before we do our next bit of Persona fusing, we're going to hang out with Suemitsu, so... I'm fine with hanging out with Maiko for now. Just need to make sure, do I have... Do I have any Hangman Personas? I do! So everything is just going great right now. I already have everything set up. Way to go past me. Uh, what are we playing today? I want to play a lot today and eat takoyaki too. Sounds like the usual with Maiko, so... I'm fine with that. Oh, hi. I was waiting for you. Is it okay if we talk? Doesn't sound like good news. Thanks. So, um... 
Thank you for always helping me. But I gotta say bye for now. Yup. I have to run away now. Remember not to tell mom and dad, okay? Bye bye! Hey, you! Have you seen a little girl? She's in elementary school. You just take a second and calm down. Calm down? What if something happens to her? Oh, please. This is what happens when you force a child to study nonstop. Why are you always like this? Everything has to be my fault. Oh, that's because it is your fault. This never would have happened if you'd been watching her. Look, we don't have time for this. I think I know who you are. You're the one, right? Maiko's told me about you. She said she played with a high school kid instead of practicing piano. What? This is the first I'm hearing of this. What the hell did you do to my daughter? The woman is extremely agitated. Shut up! Stop jumping to stupid conclusions. I'm sorry about this. We're Maiko's parents. We haven't seen her since this morning. When we checked her room, we found a note that said, I'm running away. She's never done anything like this before. Uh, it's probably your fault. Excuse me, you don't know anything. Michael, why? Listen, if you have any idea where she is, I'm begging you to tell us. Uh, maybe the takoyaki stand. Takoyaki stand? Oh, that place. Right, let's try looking. giving me a heart attack like that? Hey, that's enough. You made me worry too. I was so scared. You said you were getting a divorce and, and I didn't know what to do. I, I don't want you to get divorced. So that's what this is all about. We're really sorry, Maiko. Why don't we go home and talk about it? It's awful we pulled you into this. I'm not sure what else to say. Hey, I told you to keep it a secret, but thank you. Maiko seems relieved to see that her parents care about her. I feel like we're growing closer. Maiko went home with her parents, so I decided to go back to the dorm. Have we received a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. Huh? Oh. Karo-chan! Are your wounds healed up? Huh? Where'd you get this collar? That collar is designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean Koromaru is going to fight with us? I honestly wasn't expecting this either, but the test results show it's quite possible. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Koro-chan, is this what you want? He says, I'm returning the favor. 
Man, you're one loyal dog. <laughs> hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? Good to have you, boy. Alright, I'll take him for a walk. And it's the perfect time, because it's summer break. Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. Uh, summer... wait, what'd you say? Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? We're going to be taking supplemental courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been to balance both school and our late night excursions. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. The chairman agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? First I've heard of it. Oh, um, sorry. I completely forgot to mention it. No way! Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Come on! I want to hear it. <laughs> it sucks. Don't you think? I don't mind. Uh, well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best. At any rate, we've gained a new ally, Koromaru. He's a loyal companion who will fight valiantly for his master. As the team leader, I must properly support him. So yeah, we get to fight alongside the dog, which instantly makes this game a 10 out of 10. Oh, Akihiko's thing. Um, speaking of things that make this game a 10 out of 10, we go ahead and, and uh, talk to Koromaru over here. And we can pet him. Koromaru looks content. Maybe I should take him for a walk tomorrow instead. That's another thing I'm going to get to in just a second. Uh, they're starting to introduce a lot of things, so I'll quickly break some of them down. First of all, um, yes, Koromaru will fight alongside us. Um, he is one of the teammates who I took to the very end of the game uh, in my personal playthroughs of this game. Uh, second of all, Summer School. Yes, uh, that's something that they added because they, you know, they wanted to recreate the experience of, you know, being at a high school. But when they got to summer break, they realized, oh, there's not really much that we could give the players to do, so they just decided to fill it with a bunch of different stuff. Since most of the social links are strictly for school, there's not a lot to do. So instead we get to do this. But that's gonna help us because, like I mentioned previously, we are kind of we are kind of doing poorly in our academic stat. We're great doing everything else, but with academics, we're gonna have to boost that up in a little bit. Summer school, huh? Well, it's not that I hate studying that much, but I just don't think we should have to go to school during summer vacation, you know? I agree in real life, but, you know, for the sake of this game, it gives us something to do. I comprehend. Koromaru-san's persona exhibits a unique characteristic. It seems to have two different theurgies that can be activated. This is one of his biggest advantages. Hello. Dogs can be very reliable, you know. Why, there are rescue dogs, seeing eye dogs, narcotic detection dogs. Let's put our trust in Koromaru. By the way, what are we going to do about Koro-chan's meals? Are we going to buy dog food or cook homemade meals for him? We should decide soon. Could it be? I didn't expect to meet Persona users outside of ourselves and those we've located and recruited. Not to mention ones filled with malice and hostility. As if we haven't already been busy enough keeping the shadows at bay. So yeah, Strigger is still a very real threat for as many great things are happening. We still have to keep in mind, there is some creepy stuff going on. There's people talking about how they want the world to end. There's Strega in the background who's doing some sort of nefarious thing. A lot of stuff we need to worry about. But for now, let's just put all of that behind us and end off the episode. In the next episode, we're going to start off summer school. And we're going to actually get to see another Link episode, which is something we haven't seen in a while. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye!